Moose, let's start with you. You're eager to talk and uh, and you know stuff. DK Sportsbook Vegas minus 250 favorites on the money line. Okay, so how do you feel about it after a game one in which the Golden Knights look really good? Yeah, I mean, I think Montreal played them pretty close, if we're being honest. Like, I think that the game was closer than the score kind of indicated. It was one of those situations. But I'm, I'm not quite ready here to just jump on the Montreal side. I mean, uh, I, the line is certainly big enough if you want to do that. Now, the nice thing is this line has gotten so big that you can take Montreal here. And I would do that, but I would go to the puck line. I would take them plus 1.5 in this game, minus 127. Carey Price has a very good road record uh, in these playoffs. He's 5-2. and two. Uh, I think that, like I said, I think that score was a little bit – is just not, not quite indicative of how the game necessarily went. I think Montreal had their chances early. They just didn't, just didn't capitalize. I'm expecting a close game, too. I'm not confident enough to say Montreal necessarily pulls it out. If I'm going to pick Montreal for a win, it'll probably be in Montreal. I do like the Canadians puck line, though, at plus 1.5. All right. I don't always know what I'm talking about, but, Paul, you've been locked in of late. So let's go to you here. Montreal, you're going to chase the Canadiens. No way. I think the sand is about ready to pour out of Montreal's hourglass in this surprising postseason run. Consider that Petrie's out with a broken finger. finger. Shea Weber's playing with a hand injury that removes their top veteran defenseman as threats to impact this game. Tatar and Evans may be ready to return. That's a lot of ifs, guys. And uh, let's face it, the top line for Vegas didn't show up in that first game, and they still won by a, a pretty comfortable margin. I think that's going to change tonight. So I don't see any chance that uh, that anybody should put any money on the Montreal situation, no matter what the bet is. Uh, because on the flip side, the Knights are only missing their bottom six forward, Thomas Nosek. They're ready to, to break out, and I think they're going to do it at home tonight. AJ, you don't like a Habs bounce back? I don't, and I, I like it even less than I like agreeing with Paul here. So, you know, <laughs> th this one pains me here, but... Yeah, I'm not chasing the value on the Habs here. They're just too outmatched throughout the lineup. As Paul mentioned, you know, Petrie, Evans are, are both technically game time decisions tonight, but I, I'm not expecting we'll really see either in, in action. Uh, and, and I also don't like getting just even money on, on the puck line here to give up a goal and a half. Like, that's just not enough value for, for the risk. So I'm going to look alternate puck line and get the Knights at minus two goals for plus 155 to grab some good value here. It's a margin of victory they've achieved in three of their last four games. I expect that trend to continue. And if you want to take on that little bit more risk to avoid the potential push, as you guys know I love to do, you can go minus two and a half for plus 195 as well here. Paul, you can uh, take a look, obviously, at the odds on the DK Sportsbook. See the NHL standard five and a half as far as the goal total here for this one. You're going to go over or under? You know what? I'm looking at the over tonight. I credit Montreal for starting strongly in game one. I expect the Knights to get off to a better beginning, and that's going to lead to a lopsided score in their favor. The top line will show up and make up, make up much of that uh, score line in, in getting us to the over, and uh, I don't think it'll be a problem. I think they'll get there pretty early tonight. Moose, what do you think? I don't know, man. I mean, uh, Montreal's games, eight of the last – eight or 12 of them have, have... – been five goals or less. Uh, I, I just get, have, get, maybe I'm giving Carey Price too much respect, but I really don't think that's the case. Uh, I think you're going to see a close game here. I think you're going to, again, probably just see similar to what we saw in game one, where it, it, they only went to five goals. You know, Montreal scored once. Obviously, they gave up a few more than they wanted to. But, you know, the, the thing could, could flip where we just get a close to one game again. If you're getting five and a half, I, I would, again, just eat the juice and, and, and take the under here. I really feel like you're going to see more games like that in the series than not. So um, give me the under. I'll stay on it for at least one more game and see how it plays out. AJ, offense? No, the, they've got three-time Stanley Cup champion, and I'll be honest, I'll just say it right now, future NHL Hall of Famer Marc-Andre Fleury is sporting a 1.8 goals against average uh, during a five-game winning streak. On the flip side, the Habs have just 10 goals in their last four contests, so I'm taking the under in this one for some value. Again, with it sitting at five right now, if you want to avoid that push, take a little extra risk, you can go under four and a half on the DK Sportsbook for plus 180. Let's stay with you, AJ. How about a player prop for tonight? I'm going to go with the one-point player props here tonight, and I'm going to turn to Alex Tuck at plus 105 here. He's on a three-game point streak right now. If you want to take him to tickle that twine, you can snag him at plus 210 as well. Um, but for me, I'm going to look just the one-point option for the even money. I think it's a relatively safe bet given their offense and, and his recent performances. 
Pablo, you were so excited yesterday about player props. You brought literal props. What do you have for us today? You know what? I think it bears mentioning that Carey Price has been on, a, on fire of late, but I saw some holes in his game, some guessing in his game in the last outing, and that makes me nervous for Montreal fans. I think the big line's going to take advantage of that tonight, so my props are on the first line. I'm going to take, take Pacioretty and Stone both to get two-point games and paying two point, plus 285 and 275, respectively. If you want to take a flyer on Montreal scorers, I don't look any. I won't look any further than, than Toffoli at plus 220 or Suzuki at 280 to get a goal, but uh, that's a long shot tonight. I, I like the way Marc-Andre Fleury's playing. I don't like the way Mr. Price looked last game, and nobody's talking about that except me. Jeff, what say you, sir? I don't think Paul would, would ever like the way Carey Price looks, <laughs> just, just based on his his fever for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But um, I, I'm, I'm more in line with, with AJ's thinking. I like the Alex Tuck call a lot. I think the Vegas third line really played well for them, and they're going to continue to play well. Tuck is just a good player as well. I am of the opinion you should be looking as well if you're going for props. So maybe more on the shots on goal props. Cole Caulfield, you know, the Canadians really just don't have any other choice but to just keep putting this young guy out there. And the one thing he is doing, he's getting a ton of shots on goal. I really like targeting his uh, over on the shots on goal prop tonight. It's at minus 106, which is just fine. Over two and a half uh, shots on goal again. He's playing well over 15 minutes a game right now. The Canadians aren't going to stop playing him because, quite, quite frankly, he looks like one of their most active offensive players out there. So, again, I don't really want to get on the goal props for Montreal because they – I think they're going to have trouble scoring goals in this series, but absolutely keep targeting Cole Caulfield on the uh, over on the shots on goal prop. Plus JJ Watts, a super fan. You can't go wrong there. That, right? that helps. Absolutely. I'm All right. Wisconsin, last question boys. before I'm we Wisconsin. get <laughs> What's that? I said, I'm Wisconsin boys. I'm Wisconsin. There you go. All right. One more before we get you guys out of here, AJ, let's go to you here. Uh, if, if you're thinking uh, we, we've been talking odds, excuse me. If you're thinking DFS though, and you want to slide one of these guys into the captain spot, for a showdown between the Golden Knights and the Canadiens. Who are you looking at? I'm going to step out of my normal MO here and shell out the huge money to put the flower in my captain spot tonight. Uh, I, I think he's been playing just too well to, to really avoid it. Now, uh, as a value option for you on top of that, because you're going to need some value when you're paying that price tag, you can look to a guy like Alex Tuck, who's only coming in about 6 k uh, so you're going to need to fill out with a couple guys like that. William Carlson's another low price option uh, to find if you're going to go with me and pay all the way up for the flower tonight. Who's the captain for you, Paul? First of all, I love the call. Alex Tuck as a, as a bench guy. Uh, good call by you, AJ. You're finally starting to join the dark side here. <laughs> <laughs> I've focused on the top uh, line for the Knights tonight to be impactful and that means I choose between Stone or Pacioretty in the tonight showdown format guys I'll go with Stone because he's going to cost me 3,000 less than his line mate and that'll make it easier for me to get Fleury into the lineup tonight uh, as a support guy I don't think he's going to get the big game score though because this is going to be a game where I think the Canadians are not only going to have trouble scoring they're going to have trouble getting shots on goal Jeff wrap it up Look, I, I like the goalie calls tonight, but if you're if you're in big GPP, like I really think you got to lean Carey Price here. He's five and two on the road. Like I said, I mean this is kind of a do or die spot for Montreal. I know that sounds crazy, but if they don't split this these two games, like I, I don't see this series going their way. If you just hate that call so much, Alex Peter Angelo is just absolutely killing it in the playoffs. Blues fans just crying their eyes out watching this guy play right now. You know, averaging over four shots on goal per game. Even if it does end up being a bit of a shootout, Peter Angelo is playing over twenty five minutes and producing i think his price is really really good right now uh, for a captain spot so again if you're leading a little bit more vegas wins a close game i would go him